All right, another question that we were working on uh, that I was asked to review is on slide number 47. We're asked how many glucose molecules are in 5.23 grams of C6H12O6. I've sketched a simple graphic organizer to identify that mole is known as the central unit of chemistry, that to convert back and forth to number of particles requires Avogadro's number. For mole to be converted to mass, we need the molar mass of that particular substance. So if we're going to go from mass to number of particles, mass to number of particles, so molecules is an example of a type of particle, um, we're going to have to do it in two steps. So our first step in mass here is to convert mass into moles using the molar mass. Now the molar mass of C6H12O6 is equal to 6 times the mass of carbon from the formula, 12 times the mass of hydrogen, and 6 times the mass of oxygen. When we sum all those values together, we end up with 180.158 AMUs. Therefore, from that information, we gather that one mole of glucose is equal to 180.158 grams. That's what this number represents on our periodic table. So for 5.23 grams of C6H12O6, if we're looking to first convert that into moles, C6H12O6 from grams of C6H12O6. We do our quick check to make sure that the units on opposite sides of our fraction, if we were to extend this over, right, that those cancel. They do. One mole was equal to 180.158 grams. So we've got moles of glucose but we're actually solving for molecules. Let's plan our next step out. If molecules is what we want, the question is, after this calculation, what unit are we... Oh, moles of C6H12O6. It says right here. It's the only unit that didn't cancel. So if that's the unit that we're currently expressing after the first step, we're solving for molecules in our second step. We've got to get rid of moles. C6, H12O6. Once these units are on opposite sides of our fractions, we can reduce those, cancel those out. Those units all cancel. One mole is always equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 particles. Let's punch that into our calculators. So we got 5.23 divided by 180.158 gives us 0 0.029. We're going to multiply that by 6.022 times 10 to the power 23. And we end up with 1.75 times 10 to the power 22. And if we look at the units, it's molecules of glucose. So question number one, how many molecules? Check. Next we're asked, how many oxygen atoms are in it? Well, how are we supposed to know how many oxygen atoms are in them? Oh wait, there's six oxygen atoms in one molecule. So let's carry this answer down. 1.75 times 10 to the 22 molecules. C6H12O6. We were asked how many oxygen atoms, right? Well, there's six oxygen atoms for every one C6H12O6 molecules. One point zero five times ten to the power. 23 oxygen atoms. So one more time. Mass to moles. Moles to molecules. That's a two-step calculation. Always got to convert to moles first. This graphic organizer that I quickly sketched up can be helpful. We solve for the molecules of glucose. 
Now from the molecules of glucose, we were then able to convert it into oxygen atoms by virtue of we can read a formula. There's six oxygen atoms in one molecule to come up with our final answer.